Is a fourth COVID-19 surge avoidable? Medical experts say yes, but it seems not everyone's listening. Brett Conway has a look at what's causing the recent rise in cases and what it's going to take to get that case count turned around. New cases of COVID-19 are on the rise again. Doctors Ashish Jaha, Anthony Fauci and Scott Gottlieb caution that it's up to us to keep this rise from shifting to a surge. Now, variants are playing a part in the case count. This is basically what we were all saying was going to happen around the second half of March. The variant first identified in the UK is more contagious and now likely to become dominant. But it's not the only reason behind the rise. What we're likely seeing is because of things like spring break and pulling back on the mitigation methods that you've seen now. Several states have done that. A lot of the spread is happening among younger people, 10 to 19, but also 20 to 29. Uh, that's the group that is moving around, uh, you know, kind of relax and getting infected. Experts say it's not time to relax yet. We need to hold on to our masks, avoid crowds and hold off on travel until we can get more people vaccinated, especially in areas with rising case counts. I think what we need to do is try to continue to vaccinate, surge vaccine into those parts of the country. So the incremental vaccine that's coming onto the market, I think the Biden administration can allocate it to parts of the country that look hot right now. Then it comes down to patients. We're weeks away from a point where we can begin to do these things a bit more safely. But if we could just get two or three more weeks of around three million vaccines a day, that's going to be a pretty big backstop against a true fourth surge. I'm Britt Conway reporting.